Hey, oh YouTube, Music Man thirteen ten here, and I was going to do a specific variant today because I have a list of how this is gonna go. But for today's episode, we're gonna actually gonna skip a variant on my list and move on to the ARX variant of Call of Duty wish list. Now, if you don't know what the ARX is, then uh, boy, are you missing out. Maybe not, depending on which title you're playing. But the ARX is a three-round burst we no, weapon in most cases. Now, this case is not going to be any different. So, first off, let's just go right off the bat. Shots to kill. I always start off with shots to kill. You're probably thinking that I'm going to be doing three to five shots. No. This time, I actually want it to be two to five shots. Uh, now... This is where it kind of gets a little bit tricky because I want the two shot to pretty much end where shotguns really end their one shot. So six meters, that's where I want it to be. However, I want the five shots to start at about 25 meters. It's kind of weird on how this works. I really haven't figured it out fully, no, but I want there to be a overall steady decrease, de decrease? decrease to for the um, two shot to five shot because I still want there to be three and four shot kill uh, ranges in there. I just haven't figured out how it worked yet. Hip fire uh, radius should be average. Magazine size 30 magazines is plenty. I am fully aware that Advanced Warfare got a patch that gave the ARX 45 rounds in a magazine. That to me is just too much for a burst rifle. So 30 magazine is. It's just like the good amount. Recoil is a burst fire weapon, so it's going to be accurate. So low recoil. Uh, coil. And I really want it to be more of a vertical recoil because a lot of the burst fire no, guns I see, the they have battle. more of a circular recoil. But that's, I don't know. It's like, that's probably, uh, that's probably because of how it is really because it's a burst fire weapon. So it's like, pop, 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 pop. It's like you really can't control that much. Speaking of which, I'm, and now we move on to the fun part, the rate of fire. I want this to be an 800 RPM weapon. Now you're probably thinking to yourself that that's going to be fast because I still want this to be a three round burst gun. But here's the thing. I also want there to be a 0.5 seconds delay. Now, what does that mean by delay? I mean that in between each burst, I want there to be half a second of a delay. That probably brings it to what feels like around 700, maybe 650, which I believe is good enough for a burst fire weapon. Now, there is going to be another burst variant that I'm going to spoil right here, right now, and that's going to be a four round burst variant. I don't know what to call it yet, so why don't you leave in the comments what you think this variant should be called. And the only reason why I don't know what to call it is because in Black Ops 2, we have the M8A1, which was a four-round burst weapon. I don't think there was a four-round burst weapon in Ghost, but I know that there was one in the IMR, in uh, Advanced Warfare, with the IMR. Both of those guns are four-round burst weapons, but they don't have anything in common, unlike the AK variants and the MK var uh, variants. Uh, so, what I want you to do is to write it in the comments, what do you think this gun should be called for a four-round burst? Most popular comment will be the type of variant that will be mentioned in this episode, which should be coming around in two to three days, well, two to three days of the series time, which means probably six or eight days. Anyways, uh, um, yeah, leave a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe for more. If you want to check out some of the other episodes, you can always go back to my last episode, which was on the NTAR variant, and then stick around for, you know, for a secret variant. A variant that I can tell you right now is going to be a single shot variant. Music Man 1310 signing out. Peace.